Hello everybody out there, um, YouTubers and people from Bucket. Today I'm going to bring you a video installation tutorial on Craft Bucket Automatic Installer, which is now called Iridium Server Manager. And um, for people who don't know how to set up um, Bucket using uh, their dot .bat and stuff like that, um, this is actually a very simple way of um, doing it. So um, what you want is this link. Uh, these links will be in the description. And this link. Um, this one is this the bucket one is just um, uh, a farm post uh, with the, um, most of the stuff you need to know about it. Um, to download it, um, you can click the download buttons here, or go on the actual site and download the latest downloads. Um, so, what you're going to do is uh, download that now. Uh, yeah, you're going to need a, the download is off Google Drive, so you're going to have to log on to that if you have one. Once you've logged into Google, the download should start right away. Okay, so what you want to do is uh, save it to your desktop, which I'm going to do now. Okay, so now I've saved it to my desktop over here. Um, what you want to do is uh, create a new folder called it doesn't matter what you call it, yeah, you might as well call it Minecraft server. Drag and, and drop it. Now, to run Iridium Server Manager, um, when the first time you run it, you'll be prompt to install .NET Framework 4 and uh, .NET Framework Visual. As you see, it's uh, loading now. There we go. Now this is uh, like, yeah, this is the Iridium Server Manager. It basically does everything for you. So you want to download either the stable, the beta, or the development build. So you want to download the stable, and it's going to download Craft Bucket for you, as you see here. So I'm going to let that download and uh, resume when it's done. Okay, so when you finish downloading, you'll get the download successful message like you just saw. Um, all you need to do now is... Ah, you see, sometimes when this comes up, uh, it, you just have to ignore it. It's, some, it's just... Uh, just click continue. And then the first time you start it, you can just click start. And as you see here, it is generating all the things you need f for your server. So click start again and it's going to run that. As you see here, it's loading now. And there you go. All done, all set up, all ready to use. Uh, so yeah, basically, that this is just this is the Iridium server manager. Um, please, uh, if possible, follow me on YouTube, follow me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter. Uh, all links will be in the description. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and good night.